everybody. We're going to be making a gothic hand mirror today from items that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Found this cute little mirror. Plastic skeleton that I got at the Dollar Tree in a hand during Halloween and plastic bat rings. I want the skull to lay flat, so I'm going to cut the back off of it and try and make it as even as possible. I'm going to cut the ring parts off of the bats so they'll lay flat. You can pretty much use anything to decorate your mirror and put it however you want, but this is how I liked it. And I also learned from this experience that the uh, hot glue worked okay, but I think the E6000 or 600, whatever that glue is called, would probably work a lot better. Yep, I think that looks pretty good. All right, now we're going to cover the mirror because I plan on spray painting it. And I'm just using masking tape. It peels off pretty easily without leaving a lot of residue. You could also use painter's tape. All right, time to spray paint. And of course, I chose black. Something you'll notice with my spray painting is that I am impatient and so I have a bad habit of spraying a lot on too fast. It would probably work a lot better if you did thin layers and then gently pull the tape off once dry. Once it's all done, you can take something sharp, like a razor blade works best, and scrape the any paint residue off. As you can see, my bat fell off, which kind of sucks. I'll glue that on later. And right now I'm gluing black rhinestones around the skull to hide my goopy glue job. Like I said, you guys know I'm not a perfectionist, so right now I'm just kind of hiding my mess. And I actually got these black rhinestones at Michael's. And this is the finished product. I glued that back on. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty awesome for only a couple dollars, I think. Thanks for watching guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like.